Well, longtime West Michigan radio personality, a well-loved one around here, Connie Kelly of the Connie and Fish Morning Show on Mix 95.7, has passed away after fighting liver cancer. Arania Sitowski talked to her co-host today on Connie's legacy and the tributes, Annie, that the show has planned for her. Yeah, they have a lot planned, and Doug, we're really sad to have to pass that news along today. As you mentioned, 55-year-old Connie Kelly passed away on Monday after a short battle with that diagnosis, that cancer diagnosis. We did speak with her co-host today, who says not only did she really pave the way for women in the broadcast industry, she was an amazing person who will be dearly missed. So, Connie, Connie Fish, uh lost her battle with cancer yesterday. A sad announcement Tuesday morning on the very show radio personality Connie Kelly headlined. I believe that she's up there, right? Connie's radio partner and friend of 25 years, Fish Calloway, right by her side through a liver cancer diagnosis in September. In less than four months, this deadly, uh, terrible disease just ravaged through her body. By October, Connie would learn her cancer was stage four. It was also the last month she'd call in to the Connie and Fish show, leaving a message for her listeners. I love you guys, and I love our listeners, and oh. just know that. it's I, I consider myself lucky that I get to say goodbye to everybody, and I get to have time to tell everybody how much they mean to me. For some reason, we don't get to talk again. Love ya. Connie passed away at 2.18 Monday afternoon. Her partner in crime, right there with her. It's not... Anything I'll ever forget is probably the it's probably the worst thing I've ever seen. It is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Sorry. Connie's decades in radio earned her the Alliance of Women in Media's Gracie Award in 2019, an honor Fish says is just a small part of her legacy. She broke barriers uh, for women. She really did. It was a different time when she started broadcasting. It was rare uh, that she, every market she went to, she was the first woman to headline the show, mm -hmm. Connie and Fish. But Fish says beyond all that, her kindness was unmatched. Connie was a strong, powerful, independent, feisty, mm -hmm. uh, beautiful woman, a uh, beautiful human. He says Connie had the ability to reach people without even trying. We had a woman call in today and her child gets picked on uh, because she has a deep voice. The kid does. And then she heard Connie. And Connie had a very deep, boisterous, powerful voice. And she heard Connie and it motivated her. And now she's like the lead singer in her choir. As their show officially moves forward without half the team, Fish says her spirit remains. She truly loves, loved people and really just wanted people to be happy. And so for the rest of the week, their show will end with an inside joke and tradition that the two shared for decades whenever it was time to leave cities. Just another way Connie is leaving her mark on West Michigan. Before we would leave, we would play this. So every day this week, no matter what day it is, before I leave for the day, in honor of Connie, my friend, over 25 years who passed away from cancer. And play this. And then we'll say goodbye next. Is the Really just a beautiful tribute there in the week will be full of them, so be sure to tune in. Connie is survived by her husband, Dan. We're also told that she was really the station leader in raising money and awareness for the Susan G. Komen Foundation. So in that same spirit, in lieu of flowers or gifts that anyone may want to send to her family, Connie did request that donations be made in her name to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Doug, back to you. Yeah.